In December, I was pretty much house ridden a couple weeks. I have gotten better from the medications, but I've never actually reached what the doctors call remission. The doctors consider the drug that I'm on to be a failure. I usually end up back on prednisone, which I talked about in my first vlog. The drug is actually not supposed to be used for long extended periods of time. Very damaging to your body. Try not to be on it for more than a month at a time. After going weeks without barely eating any food at all, weeks of just pain and losing weight, once I start taking prednisone and come out of that, I just, I wanna eat all the foods. Macaroni and cheese, steak, french fries. I mean, you don't realize how much that food is emotional until it's completely wiped out of your life because if you eat anything, it's painful. I am starting to feel better because of prednisone and I eat, man, I eat. I try to keep a healthy diet, like I said in my last vlog, but you know what, this morning, I'm just gonna splurge and I get a delicious breakfast at the Tap House right down the road from my apartment. <laughs> A little bit chilly out today. I bet you it's in the single digits right now. Tomorrow and Wednesday is when it's really gonna hit. Really? Yeah, I heard it feels that. like it's gotta be below zero right now. Uh, it's, well, according to my thermometer, it's like 10 above. 10 but above? That, I don't really? think it's oh, working man, right. Oh, All right, yeah, you too, see ya. Our neighbor that lives right, right above me, an Air Force vet, fought in, in the war, great guy. Delicious meal. I love that restaurant. Tap House, check it out, and Whitefish. I'm out of supplies, and being in Montana, it's so dry. I go through about a gallon every day. I don't absorb water very well because my colon isn't as efficient as other people's. I run into the store all the time, and while I'm there, I'm going to fill up on kombucha. If you don't know what kombucha is, it's a tea. Evidence shows that it might help people with ulcerative colitis because it has probiotics in it, and probiotics have been known to help gut function. And uh, they actually have a tap at Super One, which is brand new. They never did this before. It, it's like a godsend because now I can go to the grocery store and fill up a growler-sized container of kombucha. Absolutely gorgeous day. Hello. This nice fellow, um, he's actually standing right in front of me, right there, suggested that I put cardboard in my radiator. No, no not, not yet. I'm gonna run back in and grab cardboard, <laughs> like you me. said. I'll go get you oh, okay. Thank you. Out here shoveling parking lot with a shovel. Literally. I don't know if he works here or if he's just a good Samaritan, but... All right, cardboard. We're gonna try this out. He said it helps uh, the truck warm up faster. I don't know. How to actually we do it? Well, watch your gauge. It does warm up. You've got a couple holes in here to put a little more air in. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. See ya. Totally epic. My heater is blowing hot air like it's never blown hot air in my life. Sending out big love to that guy. <laughs> that guy was awesome. I've been editing for the last two, three hours. Sold four barrels over the phone. The guy gets off work at 3.15, so I gotta meet him where the barrels are stored at, sell the barrels, and then uh, head up the mountain. A beautiful rainbow. Sold four barrels, $80 check in the bank. My uh, new contraption that I created, hopefully it's gonna make for better time lapses going up the mountain. So I just hopped in my dad's truck. He's coming with me this time and we're gonna head up Big Mountain now. 
Here we are uh, testing out my time lapse rig. It's minus zero. We got to go it's the long way because it's four o'clock. The mountains closed. We're gonna see how this works. to the top it's my dad one hour and 20 minutes not bad they're uh, locking it up but they're letting us change and then we're gonna head down temperature minus seven with a wind chill of minus 29 it's pretty cold out there we're really thankful that they let us in here briefly heading out now <laughs> Was super fun with my dad. I just can't get any better than that. So to counteract this morning's meal, I'm making some fish here and butternut squash. Pretty healthy. Super easy to cook. Just throw the fish in the pan. I like to use an iron skillet. Supposedly it makes it taste better. Just don't wash them. You can scrub the stuff out, but leave it, you know, leave it alone. Just let it do its thing. I use avocado oil and avocado oil is pretty good for you. 10 grams. So it's got mostly monosaturated fat, none of those polysaturides. You want the monos. Supposedly easier to actually digest than polys, because poly means more than one, mono one. Usually throw a little bit of uh, salt and pepper on there and that's it. Do not underestimate the emotional power of food. When you have UC and you have weeks to months where food is just painful, this disease has sort of forced me to to pay attention to what I'm putting in my body.